Hello party people. I have been dreading this day for about a week and a half now, but the day has come. I cannot wait any longer because the room looks like this. It is miserable. I literally cannot step anywhere without stepping on a toy or something. I know I should just clean it, but what I really need to do is declutter everything. I've got to get rid of the toys to make room for more toys, which doesn't make any sense. But that's what Christmas is all about. I'm kidding. Jesus is the reason for the season. But I do need to declutter this room. It is getting out of hand. Oh, and there's more than just this. I also need to bring in some junk from their bedroom. And I also need to go through their bedroom, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to tackle that today. My main focus is their playroom. Let's just do it together, okay? You will be my motivation. Do you guys declutter toys before the holiday season? Before they get a whole slew of new... What's worse for us is that they, all three of their birthdays are during the holiday season, so it's just like quadruple the overload. So let's just... Let me get my tripod and we'll get going. Okay, I skipped my workout this morning so that I would have ample time to finish this massive undertaking, uh, which shows you dedication, right? So I'm just gonna go one by one through each and every basket that I have. There's about too many baskets, okay? Too many for me to count. And right away, I'm already seeing like some toys that my kids just couldn't live without last Christmas or the previous Christmas. I don't know, it's been one or two Christmases, probably two since I got these toys. But now look at them in the deep dark pits of their playroom. I should also mention that I have a bin to donate for donate toys. I should also get a box for garbage. So let me go do that. All right, how about a bag instead of a box? This is wishful thinking, this big bag <laughs> for garbage. All right, so let's get to it, people. You know, I just had a thought, and let me know if you guys do this. If you go through old toys in your kid's playroom and just re-gift it to them for Christmas or birthday gifts, I'm not even kidding. Like, some of these things are so nice, they probably have completely forgotten that they even exist. Like, what is this? It's a rock in a box. Why? Oh my gosh, a lint roller. I need one of these. It's a horse that walks. That is pretty cool. He's still going. <laughs> oh my gosh, the Legos and gymnastics medals. We have medals galore here. There's so many. What do we do with them? What do you guys do with your medals? <laughs> I met you in the dark, it was a Saturday night When I'm the scene, you just dancing in the middle of the crowd There was something about you cause you got stuck in my mind Stuck in my mind, stuck in my mind I thought I'd give it a go and I started talking to you I don't know what I said, but the next thing I knew Is that I held you in my arms and you asked what we should do What should we do? What should we do? I said you can do what you want to with me, yeah I won't mind as long as you stay with me, I'm all right. Okay, that took a painfully long amount of time to just go through this one basket, but I will show you some gems that I found. This Barbie rollerblade. Does anyone remember these? They actually spark. And gem number two, a bald poppy troll. Did anyone else have these rollerblades for their Barbies growing up? Obviously they discontinued them because they're a hazard. Whatever, I keep one just for fun. <laughs> just to keep things a little dangerous around our house. Um, all right, what I'm actually doing is just putting the toys into piles. I found about a kajillion Shopkins already and I'm trying to rid of them in my house. So, um, and then the other things that I find, like I have Zootopia toys, Moana toys, some like princess toys. I'm gonna just group them together and then maybe try to sell them online or keep them together for when I donate them. Keep things simple, you know what I mean? So let's keep the ball rolling. Oh, and bonus, I almost forgot to show you. 
Um, we're celebrating Wentworth's birthday with my family. We are, we've been like celebrating all week, really. We went to Disney, we um, went out to eat for his birthday. Anyway, we're having cake with the family. And I found these Toy Story toys, probably from when Avelina had her Toy Story themed birthday party a couple of years ago. I'll link that if you're looking for like Toy Story birthday party ideas. But um, I thought these would be really cute to put on his cake. So I'm hoping I can find the rest of the pieces. I wanna hold ya. See what I mean? A brand new puzzle in a bag. What? It's never been opened. I don't know what the puzzle looks like, but it'll be a surprise when we put it together. After I wrap it up and put it under our tree. Do you feel me? <laughs> what I really do with them is put them in like a board basket. I keep a board basket in my closet and when my kids say, I'm bored. I say, pick something out of the basket. And then there's like activity books like that I get from the dollar spot at Target or like just little activities to keep them busy. We went out of the club and we started walking the streets and then we stopped for a while and you said you want to kiss me. I remember thinking, is this really happening? Happening, happening. I never thought I'd meet someone so beautiful. I can't keep this around my neck because it's gonna make way too much noise during the whole video. But if you guys are looking for a gift for, I don't know, someone who likes tools or needs tools, I found this for my husband a few years ago. Not that he uses them, but I think they are so cool. They are keychain little uh, screwdrivers. It's a Phillips head and a flat head. Who doesn't need a screwdriver on the go? How many times have you been out and been like, hmm, I need a screwdriver right now and haven't had one. Uh, hello, found a solution for you. I'm always looking out for you. <laughs> I couldn't quite believe it, it was magical. Just kissing on the street lights on our way back home. Our way back home, our way back home. I said you can do what you want to with me. Yeah, I won't mind. As long as you stay with me, I'm alright. I wanna hold ya. Get away. I wanna hold you. Baby, everybody feel you. Fall in the lips, blue eyes, black skinny jeans. And every room you walk into, you're always set in the scene. I wanna hold you. rough right now but I feel like I'm getting there halfway maybe no I don't know <laughs> high hopes again so I'm just gonna dump out one bin at a time oh dear lord all the small toys give it to me mm, yeah. time flies close your eyes imagine you could see everybody else's dream what a comfort it would be all along stand strong the way it ought to be but you can never walk alone on your way to being free Ooh, we're only human after all
definitely taking a lot longer than I thought it would but that's okay because I'm getting rid of so much and it feels so good or at least I feel like I'm getting rid of a lot I'm probably not because I'm just putting it into piles so let me take you around the room and little tip for you next year or if you haven't gone Christmas shopping yet I'm gonna clean this room before I go Christmas shopping because right now all I can think is they don't need any toys they have so much so let me show you what they have. <laughs> all right, here it is, all messy and whatnot. But basically, my piles are random toys, Legos. I've got some Moana toys and Zootopia toys. All the princess toys over here. I'm probably gonna bundle these up, even magic clip dolls. Um, I have Shopkins right there, Littlest Pet Shop, a bunch of trolls. I had no idea they had that many. Oh, wooden piece. This goes to a play set that I have not found yet. A uh, bunch of horses over here. Oh my gosh, I still have more to go through. I totally forgot. All these cars over here. I'm like, why did I buy Wentworth any cars? He has plenty. And then this over here, my lord. Actually, I don't, I, I only need to go through this. And it mostly, hopefully, just has horses in it. Oh no, here's a Shopkin doll. Oh, and a stuffed animal. Barbie. Oh. But overall, I don't think it's too bad. Like, mostly horses. I guess I should dump it out. Like, what is this guy? He's cool. My kids never get to play with him because he's stuck with all the rejected toys. I actually think that this is the worst their playroom has ever been. I have never let it get to this point of a disaster before. But that's life. I don't know. Maybe if it wasn't this bad, I wouldn't be go th going through it right now. A sippy cup? Just found a sippy cup in here. What is going on? And like there's legitimately nothing in here. It's just been sitting on this counter. It had oh, it had a bunch of school supplies in it, but then I moved the school supply section to a place where they could get it a little easier. But okay, so this little cubby is next. Let's get it. Also, I keep finding the missing socks. There's about 10 socks that I have found. Hallelujah. Okay, I have to admit, I took a break, lunch break, I ate some stuff, and I wasn't satisfied enough, so I like scrummaged through our Halloween candy, which we have a ton left of, to try to find some chocolate. There's no chocolate left. I mean, I found some and I ate whatever was left, but it's mostly like candy, all the stuff that no one wants. <laughs> Don't believe me? I'm not kidding. Two bags down there, I'm pretty sure, are from Easter. <laughs> I have no shame. <laughs> And what I also did was grabbed a bunch of Ziploc bags and I'm just gonna put all of the like random toys collected together and group them in Ziploc bags. Uh, something funny that I'll share with you is one of my cousins texts me and she said, hey, do you want a baby stroller or, I don't know, she asked like if I wanted a couple of things. So I texted her a picture and I was like, this is what I'm currently working with. No more toys. And it's just funny because right now she's going through her playroom at her house and like donating a bunch of stuff too. So I think maybe it's that time of year. Do you feel me? Are you doing the same thing? Okay, so let's now tackle this tower behind us. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so Well, this looks a whole lot better, and now Eleanor will be able to play with this little Barbie house because the pieces are actually, like the toilet was off. The sink was off. Everything was a mess. Barbie needed a new mansion. Oh crap, I still didn't empty this one though. Ah, well, we'll just forget about that. <laughs> We've got enough to deal with over here. Um, I still can't, oh, this goes with this over here. And I still cannot find my letter board for these letters, but I'm sure it will come up somewhere. Oh, I didn't check behind here. Tell me how bad it is. Is it bad? I bet it's bad. Avelina likes to shove stuff behind there when I say, time to clean up. That's her cleaning spot, so. 
All right, let's do it together. Oh, it's not, it's not that bad. Couple horses, we've got Elmo, couple dinosaurs, and I found the letter board. Uh-oh, dropping letters. You know, I always tell my kids when they're looking for something, I tell them, just start cleaning, you'll find it. <laughs> It's so true. You find everything when you clean. Oh my gosh, we've been looking for these. It's been like 45 degrees here in Florida, so you know you, we need to whip these out. Oh, dinosaur stickers. Look at all the fun stuff I'm finding. I love how my kids, your kids do this. They find a bag and they like pack it full of valuable stuff like this. Okay, okay. Ah, keep stepping on Shopkins. They're worse than Legos. So I went ahead and grabbed some of our Shopkins. This is what I have collected around the house already, this bin full of Shopkins. And then I have this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to shove them all in here and then give them away to someone who still loves Shopkins because I'm sure there's someone still out there who loves Shopkins. When I look at what I've done, I'm going to win. like a hundred dollars worth of Shopkins. What is the difference between Shopkins and Hatchimals? Hatchimals are the Shopkin, I assume? Don't ask me. I don't know if that's a Hatchimal. I have to be honest with you, I am guilty of throwing Shopkins and Hatchimals away when I'm really old. Those days are gone. organizing everything makes it seem like there's more space in the drawers and everything. So I'm going to show you an overview right now. Hallelujah. It looks so much better. Am I right? <sighs> anyway, I feel like I can breathe a little lighter 
we'll see in about 10 minutes when the kids come home from school if they just take everything out again. <laughs> I'm teaching them how to respect their toys and all that stuff, but you know, they are still kids. This is what I have to tackle next. Not sure if I'll film it, but whew, it's gonna be a doozy. It took me about three hours to do this. What time is it? <sighs> it did take me three hours. I thought, oh, this will take me an hour and then I'll be able to edit and upload it before Alex gets home. Nope, not the case. <laughs> I just got done cleaning, uh, so now mm, I need to take like a 10 minute break and maybe eat again. For real though, I wonder if the kids will even notice when they get home, like that it's clean. I feel like kids don't notice when little things get cleaned. Do you know what I mean? It's just over their head. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you got inspired. I hope you uh, declutter or clean whatever it is you plan to clean this holiday season. Declutter all the mess so you can welcome more mess into your home. That is my motto. Not really. Thanks again, guys. Bye.